Hello and welcome. I am Christopher. I am with uh, CK Customs, PA. Um, I am an admin for Facebook group, Cricket Help Desk. And today we're going to do a craft. I have two stockings. We're going to customize them. I'm going to put names across the top, put some snowflakes on them, have some fun over at the heat press, and head over to the press. So, today's project is a multi-layered project for the name. So, we'll start off with the first one, as my name. Pick these up. So, I actually pre-pressed these before I started the live. They had a bit of wrinkles on them, so I basically ironed them smooth. I'm going to give it a quick press here just to warm everything back up. That way the lower platen is warm. It's not going to pull any heat away from anything. I'm going to go ahead and lock my name. And the way that we actually design, put this design on here, the end of my name is going to be some cranberries and some leaves, a little bit of holly at the end, basically. So, I checked that before. Yep, that'll give room for it. So, give it about a three second tack on that. So, I'm using uh, different vinyls, uh, Caesar products, or uh, specialty materials, Thermoflex. They allow for just quick tack. That way you don't have very much shrinkage in your vinyl. that one another three seconds. So before I press my cranberries, because I have exposed vinyl everywhere else, I'm going to put a Teflon sheet over it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a three second tack on those leaves. And then I'm going to give that whole area 15 seconds. So what I'm doing with that is I'm now setting that entire layer all together all at once. So it's all good. And you see the beam set in really nicely there, pops off. But now I'm not done with this. I had Karen uh, when she was making the design. I asked her about some snowflakes. She made us a few. So we're going to take some of our snowflakes. I'm 
I'm going to put them on there. We're going to go ahead and let those run the whole 15 seconds. Now I did increase my pressure because with these stockings, the top of the stocking is a lot thicker with material. Down by the lower section of the boot of the stocking, you have less material. So you want to make sure you are getting your proper amount of pressure so that everything adheres. So what I am pressing, or what I did press with the snowflakes, is actually flock. Flock, and we'll check my cheat sheet. Flock is a peel carrier warm. For strip pro, plo, or, no, sorry, for Caesar strip flock pro. For strip flock, it's peel carrier cold. I printed this off from Caesar's website. And I am using Caesar strip flock. So it's a cold peel. I always keep my cheat sheets right next to my press. So while that's cooling, I'm going to work on Karen's. So this one does have a little bit of a wrinkle still across the top. So pressing it again, warming up the platen, giving it a little bit longer, so basically ironing that as well as heating everything up. So you can see that wrinkle is pretty much gone. Everything's smooth and flat. start off with Karen's so with Karen's name her name's gonna be a little bit shorter so I don't have to go quite all the way over to the edge like I did with mine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna bring it in so it's in just a ways from this side but still not all the way over that way I have room for the leaves of everything I'm gonna put over here in this corner So again, we're going to take that, we're going to give that about three seconds. And we're going to line up our next layer. that in another three seconds. Nice quick peel. And then we'll get our leaves on there. And I am looking at the first one I did just to make sure that I got the leaves line up in the right spot so when they are side by side they look pretty close okay. we'll take our Teflon sheet again right over top and again the whole 15 seconds Anybody have any questions so far? So, there's that one. with everything I'm 
not actually placing the snowflakes in the exact same spots because snowflakes are not always identical, even though these are all cut identically. I don't think the pattern on these, or the layout for these, is going to matter. But they're all laid out on there. So I'll press those for 15 seconds. one over here and then just peel our cold peel flock and go ahead and turn the heat press off so there's our first one there's mine. So I'm going to use my cooling stone, or cooling block. It's basically a piece of marble. And it just pulls the heat right out of the fabric because uh, any any concrete masonry anything like that will just pull heat it, it's basically a heat sink so just cool these down real quick so I can peel Karen's which comes in handy when we're doing large projects so that one's cooled down so with block you just Nice cold peel. And I like working with flock for stuff like this because that gives you that velvety feel. You're not getting too much, you're getting a little bit of thickness. You can see it on there, you can feel it, but it's smooth, it's velvety, and it looks really good. So you get that texture without grit. I hope you enjoyed watching us make our Christmas stockings. We really enjoyed this project and craft. It was a lot of fun. If you did enjoy it, please like our video and subscribe. Thank you. Happy crafting.